What is up guys and welcome back to our Road to Call Crew mode with Sheffield United episode number 22. As I saw by the title, we have got so many more transfer stuff going on. It's deadline day as well. The thing is, what I normally do is with transfer, well, the transfer months, I normally do like, um, in the summer anyway, I normally do like two or three videos and then I do the last episode, the fourth episode, was just deadline day. But how the fixtures were this time, I only really had two left in January, which was obviously against Wigan, and the second one's against Rotherham. So I decided to just play them two and do deadline day as well, because deadline day sometimes takes up a lot of kind of time to do with the videos, because you know you make a few transfers on there. Well, I do anyway normally. But um, yeah, the two games, this one against Wigan, it wasn't the best one, I've got to admit. It was kind of crap. We were kind of crap, actually. And um, there wasn't a lot going on at all. As you say, Wigan do take the lead with Ledbetter. The old Middlesbrough player will obviously play some Middlesbrough in real life, but has moved from there. And um, he wasn't a bad finish, to be fair. It, it was all right. But, you know, we shouldn't be losing against Wigan. Recently, we have been on the best of runs. Um, you know, we're starting to drop a few points, and it's getting annoying. It's getting very annoying. But, like I was saying, first half was rubbish, and the second half was even worse. Nothing happened whatsoever in the second half it was abysmal it was awful and even worse we went and lost the game at home but anyway that was training i see ramsdale went up again and also we sell a player now that's what i was trying to do because we have got a lot of dead wood now mcnulty he didn't play hardly any games for us he played one game and then it well to be fair actually in it he scored but uh, i offloaded him for one million didn't obviously get as much but as you see now we go and sign well nearly signed jordan reed now this guy marcus Lorenti, his contract was running out at the end of the year he's 22 years old 17 raid i made a deal for him at 3.5 million i mean I, I, the thing is though i just couldn't go through with it I just couldn't play his wage bill. His wage bill was well too much. Uh, and I had other, other ideas for players. I needed a new striker. And actually, that's why I went in for Hogan. So, very, very disappointed. I wanted to sign Lorente. If I had an extra 2 million, I probably would have done. But it's just annoying that I couldn't get him. But anyway, we do sign Reed in the end. And then we went for two more wingers. Uh, Ward from Ipswich. I don't know if he's gone there on permanent real life, I know he went on loan at the start of the season from Tottenham, and also Mendes, the Costa Rica player, uh, to and sign him from Lille, and I see Rangers do actually accept a bid for Scott Hogan, now we tried and sign him in the summer, but uh, he's actually recently moved to Rangers from Brentford, I know he's moved to uh, Aston Villa in real life, it's kind of funny actually, because on deadline day, back on Tuesday, Villa went and lost 3-0 to Brentford, and Hogan moved from Brentford to Villa. But anyway, John Fleck and 1.5 million is that deal. So uh, Hogan will be coming in. Now, I don't know how it's going to work because obviously I don't play one striker. But the thing is, I think Hogan's going to start off front and then, as you do, uh, Luckman might start left forward. But to be fair, I'm having a few problems with my formation. I'm not going to lie. Going into the Premier League, well, the thing is, we're looking like we're going to go into the Premier League. Um, you know, it's, it's looking likely. But the thing is, this formation... It's, it's annoying me a bit. It's just, it's not doing very well. And the thing is, with FIFA 17, I thought they'd fix the mechanics of attacking. And for me, they just don't. I don't know if it's me tactics, me instructions. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. But for me, the, the players aren't getting up the field enough. They just aren't. And it's really, really pissing me off. But anyway, we get a penalty. Uh, yeah, to be fair, it was a clear foul. <laughs> it took me out, to be fair. It was actually Charlie Taylor who uh, won that penalty, our left back. And I see Luckman, who normally is on penalties. He obviously slots it away. makes it 1-0 to us. And to be fair, going into the game, I expected us to win this one. Rotherham on the game, I, I don't think it's doing that well. And, you know, it's kind of kind of similar to real life really, they're doing absolutely rubbish, they're probably the favourites to finish last, I mean they're about 7 points off second to last, so it just shows you, but um, yeah I mean to be fair I went into the game against Wigan thinking I was going to win, but you know obviously that didn't really happen, but this game you know I was playing well, Rotherham weren't early in the game at all, we were pressing on, trying to create a few chances, we were creating low to be fair, I'm surprised it wasn't one, more than 1-0 one at this point. Hogan should have maybe scored there on his debut. But it was just frustrating me, really. Because, you know, I'm thinking if Rotherham get that one chance, like Wigan did, and put it away, look, they could have scored there. But luckily they don't. Now, came forward again, tried to get in a chance. <laughs> but it was another penalty. <laughs> oh, God. Rotherham, I feel so for sorry for you. But it was such a dramatic fall from Luckman. I just can't believe what was going on. But anyway, he's actually missed the penalty. 
Uh, it was a good save by Camp, to be fair, really good save, but luckily it fell to Luckman at the second rebound and he put it in. So, you know, obviously he put us 2-0 up, that was his second goal for himself, and I was looking for the hat-trick for him, you know, I was thinking if we can get the ball to Luckman, or even another penalty, because, you know, you can't argue with a hat-trick of penalties at all, can you? But anyway, he gets uh, another goal for himself in the season, and to be fair, guys... It did come. The Luckman hat-trick is here. Look at this. Nice play. We see him running there on the edge of the box. He finishes it nicely. Took it a bit further than I wanted to. I was thinking about finessing my right foot, but in the end, you know, he put it away. The main thing is, he scored, and uh, he gets his hat-trick. So I think that's his third Sheffield United hat-trick. I think he got two in League One, and now, obviously, that's his uh, first in the Championship. But, um, yeah, well done to him. He's, he's actually gone to Everton in real life, so... Hopefully that will work through because apparently he's a really good player. Obviously, I ain't seen much of him because he's been in League One and uh, he was a bit in the Championship. But there he is collecting the match ball. And like I said, you know, two games I stood, won one, lost one. And you know what that means? We're back onto transfers. But just before that, we had a bit of training. You know, you don't mind a bit of training, do you? Um, just to improve the players. And actually, Ojo and the guy who's in my youth squad actually went up. Now, Kaelin Lavery, uh, Dev of Peter, Dev of Peter, what am I on about? Um, Deport Alvarez. Now, they came in a 1.2 million bid for him. I was kind of negotiating deal for a 1.5, but, you know, you have to accept 1.2 million with the players you're trying to bring in. But anyway, Ryan Mendes, he gets a bid accepted for him. We offered him a contract. And also, Ipswich do accept a bid for Grant Ward, so we also offered them a contract. Now, they're both players at quite a high wage budget. So, you know, that deal and that sale for Lavery was kind of crucial, to be fair, because obviously... It paved the way for them to, and on deadline day, um, we go and sign them both. So, Grant Ward, 2.5 million, plus Sam Winnell, hopefully will be a good signing. I know he's about a 72 rating, and the same with Ryan Mendes, 1.5, plus Sam Klukas. Finally got rid of Sam Klukas, no offence to him, I don't mind him in real life, but on this game, he wasn't very good. And then that was it, our deadline day was done. I was kind of glad with the signings, to be fair, in the business. So, uh, hopefully, the next uh, four months of the season, we'll be able to still win the league. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the episode. If you have, please hit like button, subscribe if you are new. And, guys, I'll be seeing you later. Peace.